actually treated not like a work. This is my actually a lifestyle. Of course, we have a different aspects. Like at the beginning, what we did, we more com be competitive. So we have a dance career. Now we retired, and we are mostly focusing on the teaching, developing new couples. Honestly, with you before, what it drive me this. My, my life this it's the adrenaline I love to feel adrenaline I love to feel the uh, challenging I love to compete honestly with you I love more competing so it's give me like a little bit something for myself to step out of my comfortable zone in a way because in life I'm pretty much different person as I'm dancer and that's how I probably express myself so this is the you know the tool I was speaking actually so that's as I love and of course I love to be between the people meet different dancers meet different talents it's unbelievable because that's how we're feeding each other so that's for me what I feel well, uh, you just said it's different right now because before we used to compete. So obviously the competition was the driving force of our dancing and, uh, and shows and of course we met a lot of people. Now what I like about what we're doing is really try to help the new generation to become somebody because I think this dream is possible for everybody only if they really believe that it will work, I'm sure, 100%. So my target is just to give uh, as much and as many tools they need to become the better dance they can be. No, I think the, the, the organizing of an event like this, where you have a competition first, a workshop after, is actually quite clever because you're actually working your practice, your lessons for the competition floor. So ultimately, you see the end product before you start to work with it. So normally we have a camp and after there is a competition and you kind of get used to another couple, you wind them up, you preparing them for the event. In this case it was pretty opposite and it's interesting because you can see what you can work after you, you saw in a competition and um, pretty productive I must say. And a lot of people, you understand what is the mentality of the couple, what is the figures they have it. And then you can discuss about it even better. Actually, it's great. it was our first time here in this Viva Dance uh, camp and also judging this competition. We've seen the couples in different uh, competitions, but it was actually nice to participate because they have a beautiful event with a live orchestra and I see how the couples enjoy it. Like, because it's a completely different feel when it's a live orchestra. It's like kind of different level of performance. And yes, it's definitely actually a cool idea to do the comp and then the camp. Uh, even it's a little bit tiring maybe for couples, but for us it was great because we saw straight away what we can work and improve. What, I, what always reminds me when things is like when we used to compete, right? And you go and you see all these elite judges <laughs> there and dancers yes. that you respect because you do respect and you have a lesson with them, and you think they have expectation, right? And, uh, and actually we were there just like enjoying there is no expectation to see any specific details that they might think. I, I always had this in my mind, you know, that when I, when I used to compete, I was thinking like, oh my God, you're going to look at me in that part and I have to do better, you know? But actually, it was interesting that they had this kind of also psychological block, you know, that they see you there and they're like, oh my goodness, what do they want to? And yeah, normally it's a... Uh, of course yeah, of i believe so i believe but because they care that's the most the most important thing if you see the kids they don't care who is dancing who is not dancing they go 100 percent yeah yeah whatever and actually they can say i can do better <laughs> you know it's, it's great i love them i love them yes they care it's a lot of talented kids now a lot of coming up Teachers are doing a great job, I must say. Yes, respect for it. Oh, that's a good question. It's a good question. I start dancing four years old, so basically I start straight away. I bring my parents to dancing. So honestly, I always love express my body through music. I love music. Yes, I think. I mean, I love sport as well. I think I would do any sport. I love fashion. Maybe something in a fashion could be. But my life brought, uh, my life brought me to the dancing, so I honestly don't know. <laughs> me too, so I don't know, dancing. actually. It's a, it's a very tough question, because when I was young, my parents pushed me to do a lot of things. Of course, 
football is one of the things you do straight away in Italy, right? I did football, I did uh, uh, martial arts, I did motorbike. And the motorbike obviously was not a talent in me, <laughs> for sure. And uh, I didn't go for it, but it was my passion. I love it. I love to see, I love I love to race. Yes, I love the race. Thank God I had to do only on the on the circuit, not outside. <laughs> so yeah, but because I love the, the the race, I love the competition, I love to push the limits of the uh, physiology of it. That's what dancing was good for me, you know. And, and also, I learned respect, and it's a very good things in life. So have respect to your partner, respect to the authorities, because in a dance there is a lot of authorities. And also, you know, like to not take only, oh wow, you're good. Or understand that when you have to work, you have to work harder, you have to put an extra effort on yourself. So yes, I don't know what could be, but yeah. anyway, I think you didn't do that yeah. bad to be a dancer. <laughs> yeah. To be a dancer, I think for me was secondary. I think I love the fact to be able to share knowledge, information, to help couples. I think before my results, uh, I helped some kids in my parents' studio to, to win titles. It was like a small event or whatever, but it was, it was interesting that your inputs it mean a lot to them. You know, you can change the life of a person and uh, grow in a different way. This is what's um, what the, the driving force of me. Yeah. I become straight away dancer. I knew that and I love it straight away and uh, my mom said that at six years old I said I'm gonna be the world champion. So that's like really I don't remember this but for me I remember that I I knew the highest is the world champion for some reason. I'm like that's what I want to get there and I said to her I said yeah you told me you're, you're gonna be the world champion. Yeah. So I kind of already knew inside me and I love it. I love dancing. So and that's how I knew. It's there was a life. there was a time where I decided to stop dancing actually to to follow university to go sport university and a sport university and the, I think it was the same times where the dancing shift from hobby to a sport because we had like a massive media interaction to understand what was the physiology of to be a dancer and because I was already university and my level there was pretty okay. I thought it was good, but it was okay. <laughs> and uh, they took me like to to check, you know, a few things. And uh, I, I get into understanding the mechanic and everything else, what it was important in dancing. And I was like, you know, maybe I can do it. If I put myself in it 100%, maybe it could make this life my life. I can make a living with it. And that's what I decided. It was, but I had to change uh, teachers and I had to change lifestyle for sure, 100 percent. Yeah, for sure. It was it was not easy. Yeah, and it was a moment, um, like especially with the result. You know, when the result doesn't go, you're working hard, you're doing the, you're putting everything, effort, and then no result, and you feel like, oh, okay. And then I don't know. In a day, you're like back to the studio. You want to do it again. You you want to try it again. That's for me kind of was a little doubt and then <laughs> get it out. <laughs> you know, I, I think that I was blessed because my result, it was never given easier. I always had to work on my results. And the more effort I put in the work, better was the outcoming of the results. So I had to kind of have to build this work ethic, that obsessive work ethic that I didn't want to have any regrets, maybe to skip one practicing, or maybe skipping one little thing that it would uh, penalize me in a competition. I know it sounds quite crazy that you say like, well, okay, one detail, so we'll change you. Maybe not, but I think it was psychologically what in a way it pushed me to do more. Even when we, we used to practice, it was tough to practice most of the time when we used to travel, you know? But actually it was like, the things like, would you like to lose? Would you like to be second? Would you like to get in second place? Would you like to disappointing uh, who believe in you? Yeah. No, okay, let's go to practice. Yeah. That was probably enough for motivate me. Dancing with Julia, for sure for me. Well, yeah, I think uh, me too, because I think we find each other where we're both in the same path. We, are, we love to work. We're obsessed of dancing and we're obsessed of the results. We love to compete both. 
um, and we're kind of helping each other. When I'm down, he's helping me. When he's down, I try to help. Maybe. Yes, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's kind of, I don't know, we find ourselves and actually we build also a different relationship, right? Together, where we get married after and everything. So, uh, yeah, so I think it's a crucial point. And yeah, there was I'm also a point where we had a doubt. Uh, do we really love each other or just because we yeah, we dancing, just get used to and about the dancing? You know, like you see a lot of dancing couple get married and then when they stop dancing, they split. I said, I don't want to split after we stop dancing, so we better make clear the situation before. <laughs> and actually, no, it was just a life, a life, different situation in life. For me, Yulia is representing me, not just the, the best dancer I've ever met in my life, obviously, with all respect to all dancers. It's just somebody that give me a chance to express myself and to make myself better. And uh, yeah, she worked hard and with all respect to it. Yeah, it's a good question. It's a great question, actually. I must say I have no regrets. And uh, I many, many times I, th I was thinking about. I think uh, the person I am now, it's because what I lived before, right or wrong, regardless of that one. Would I tell myself, to probably have less doubt sometimes, to relax, but maybe it would change my approach to life. You know, I'm, I'm stressing myself. You know, if we have to do like a small workshop, I have, to, I have to know everything that would ask me. I have to know, I have to feel myself comfortable. I have to feel like the shoes, I have to try the shoes. I have to understand, I have to look is correct. So maybe, yes, maybe sometimes to relax a little bit more, but then again, I don't want to change what I went through. So I'm okay. You know, like if for my life it would finish tomorrow, I think I left, I live the best life ever. And even day one, it was never about the money, make money. It was the money I need for the dancing, investing always in the dancing. So when you say like economically, would you think it would be your life? It was never doubt my life is about dancing. So. I have to find the money to carry on with my dancing, and that was the only thing I yeah. really care. No, it's very similar. I was very critical to myself, very strict, and sometimes didn't let myself go, maybe relax, or, you know, like, take it easy. I almost, like, was afraid. If I'll just take attention to something else, I'm gonna lose it. Yeah. I always like this, all my life, like, I practice. Okay, you get, no, 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 we have to practice. Till the last moment, till tomorrow competition, I have to go. I have to feel it if I still have it or not. So this kind of doubts, like what Ricardo said, if maybe we won't do it, maybe we won't have this result. I said it many times. Yeah, actually, I would ask a young Julia, why didn't you meet Ricardo early? Exactly, where you been? <laughs> yes. In Italy. <laughs> exactly. You've been told by your teacher a long time before, but never mind. Yeah, it was interesting, actually, my teacher, who I had a lesson in... Uh, Russia, Russia, when Russia, yes. yes, and she said to me, you know, I see you dancing with Ricardo Koki, and I was like, when okay, was it? On the 18, and he was amateur, and everybody Ricardo in the final, and I am in the first round out. Can you imagine and that? And she said, I see you dancing with Ricardo. I'm like, what? Ricardo is there. <laughs> I'm here. I can imagine the life. And yeah. Gaetano Sentina, one of the organizers here, the year that stopped dancing, he made an interview. And he said to me, what would be your ideal partner? And I said to him, Julia. And it was way before even when he had a tryout. And she didn't even know that's about. So when he said to me, no, but yeah, somebody like Julia. I said, no, not somebody like Julia. Julia. Because I saw, I saw her dancing in America, one of the competition. I was like, oh my God, she's unique. I like it. And actually, secretly, I went even close by to check the height, you know, like, if, it, if she was too high, if she was too high, yeah, I changed, I, I saw that it was like warming up, it was like, it was like, it was like mm, mm, maybe, 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 maybe with a little bit heels, maybe it's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> It's, it starts from the dancing, actually, uh, the teacher Ricardo and our, uh, my teacher as well, they put us together and 
Honestly, first it was the partnering of dancing, and then even after that, we were like, that's what Ricardo said, we don't know, it's like we get used to, but honestly, we had a separate partners also first, then we split, we still kind of were, you know, or you get used to, or it's a real relationship, and it's kind of built through dancing, honestly, with you. in the three years, we kind of trust each other. Yeah, and there was like, when we start to dance, we had a, straight away a great result. But after one year and a half, we start to really go down bad. And, uh, and I, I, we had a conversation after one world championship in Blackpool that we almost uh, lost it against Franco because Franco took a true dance. And uh, we had a conversation, we said, this is not right. This is not right, we have to do something. We have to, some, we have to change the way we approach the dancing because we are going too down and it will never be back up. And in that time, that's when uh, our life changed. That's when we, we decided to go to Donny and ask Donny, take us. You're gonna be the only teacher because we, we, believe, we don't know you, but we believe in you. If you believe in us, we will put 100% in what we're doing. Please give us a chance. And then it was like, okay, let's give a go. But I cannot promise you, you cannot do. I said, I promise you the only things I can do, uh, we're gonna give you the best. Whatever we can, we do it. And after that, so we had yeah. the results, right? In one year, when we were almost third, we actually won the first world. In Germany. In Germany. We were thought that Franco, no way we can, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and uh, Michael and Joanna were also winning so like no way we can touch them and this and actually we won we we were like what and it was open marks we could not believe we were like two i couldn't two. even understand yes and it's jive and everybody congratulating because jive had always a good uh, the result best yeah yeah that's true for kind of, not always yes. but yeah winning so i was like no don't think about this just do your best that we were so focused on that night but actually it was you see turn the life Upside, upside down, down yes yeah. one little things one decision and yeah. it changed it completely yeah a lot of things actually yeah uh, i mean life yeah generally life yes. it depends if you're looking for inspiration i think you can find inspiration in anything yeah um i i think um, we used to watch movies obviously when we travel and uh, we kind of find uh, what we are looking, you know, if you're looking for inspiration, anything can inspire you. In our dance career, definitely Donny was the person that inspires yeah. the most. Till now, till now. I don't know what he has. What is this, the unique person? When you come for lesson and you feel like that after the lesson, how come it's good that you always inspired? Yes. You're so inspired. And it's no good. <laughs> Normally it's no good. <laughs> yeah, like, he always like he's, giving you. His way to, it, it's tough. He's it's very it's tough. tough. Teacher, yeah. But you know, he can bring you up. Yes. He can, I don't know what, he knows the button. And I love have a lesson before the world because I feel like I'm gonna, I don't know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna break everything. You have a bulletproof. Yes, give me this. Yeah, he always boosts you with such inspiration with everything knowledge, uh, the style of life, the, his experience. You like, you listen to him, you're like, yeah. So for me, it's a big inspiration. Donnie Burns, obviously, a lot of different teachers as well, but also a lot of artists, like singers, movies sometimes inspire you. But definitely in the dancing, this is. You know, one thing I don't understand about the new generation it's like how much, um, not trust, but comfort or believe in themselves they have because I see them having a lesson with the, not with us of course with other teacher whatever it doesn't matter with us uh, also in a certain way like sometimes you know like after every two months every one month and a half or whatever we didn't let any two weeks go goes by without having a lesson we don't even were in Japan we always try to fly back have a lesson or if he was somewhere around meet him for lesson and come back i guess we, we were crazy yeah. obsessed yeah, but, but yes that, this is, the inspiration is a is a key in life, life. is a key in sure. life yeah 
And if you find somebody inspire you, milk it. Yeah. Because yeah. that's everything. To have a family. To have a family for sure, yeah. to continue to teach, to travel the world, COVID permitting. Yeah. And, um, but yes, it's, family life for sure. It's tough now, the life I find. But then you have to still find the way, the happiness in it. And definitely for us, I would love to have a kids and hopefully that's going to be our, <laughs> the joy. And, uh, little Yulia or little Ricardo, yeah, whatever. Yes, and definitely continue to inspire the kids and maybe develop another world champion. Yeah. yeah. But honestly with you, even like talking to Donia, like I look at him, like I, I wish to be like him as a teacher. You know, he's so much give inspiration and he's like so clever. Man, he's just, you know, and I'm like, I wish to be like this. You know, I wish I could also deliver this information and develop the dancers. So that's also, it's- We're gonna learn. We're gonna learn, yeah. And he said, <laughs> you're gonna learn. So I'm waiting, I'm learning. <laughs> yes, so that's- Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you for your time. Thank you. Yes. Sure, absolutely. Yes.